you just saw our guest for this Wednesday, the 24th of August. And you see his name. Are you ready? Welcome to Planet Glee. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. And, uh, bonsoir. <laughs> and, uh, alors, il est ici. Count Federico de Varay. Fantastic to be in your fantastic, splendid program again. So, um, I like that you speak French, means bonjour. And uh, I was a friend of a legendary artist, uh, Dalida Dalida, first uh, after Edith Piaf in France, first, first singer, Dalida. And she is until now extremely famous in all Arab world. Uh, her parents was from Italy and she was born in Escandaria, means Alexandria of Egypt, and she spent uh, her adolescence in Shobra, Cairo. Then she went to France uh, and she became the first singer. She was famous also in Italy and also she came in New York, I think in San Francisco. Oh, here yes, too. And it's Piaf. And yeah, Piaf, and it's yes, Piaf. and uh, Dalida too. And so uh, there is a joke in Egypt uh, that uh, I am uh, quite famous also in the Arab world by uh, Alexander Library, television, etc. And so one actor that I, is a close friend of mine, nice actor of Egypt, is Amada Shusha, he said, Dalida left Egypt to go to France and Vardal me. <laughs> He left Italy to go to Egypt. <laughs> this is very funny story. Now I am here. Uh, of course, I am very well connected. Uh, of course, it's San Francisco, New York City, Rome, and Cairo. So, okay. So very nice to uh, to meet you again. Now I came from the street, so no spectacular clothes as last time. <laughs> that is okay. I am still myself. Maybe <laughs> I am doubt about that, but it's okay. Uh, so we got a good conversation, uh, you and I, eh? yes. about many topics that uh, could be interesting for uh, your audience. Uh, what about Queen Cleopatra VII? I think uh, that um, I like that idea of uh, uh, in introducing today's younger people to Cleopatra. I think uh, oh, nice. the, the contribution of the Arab world to civilization is completely overlooked. Yes. Yes, in fact, uh, she was the first uh, to, uh, means uh, by her Alexandrian library that uh, was uh, the home of uh, human knowledge to uh, diversify cultures and put culture in culture in the same time together. Uh, so it's a famous that uh, unfortunately when the library was in fire because uh, it was a war when Julius Caesar came to Alexandria. And then, of course, uh, as the world know, Alex uh, Caesar uh, married Cleopatra, and so Cleopatra becomes the uh, queen of the world. No man, no woman was uh, never in the history. And so when, unfortunately, uh, you, your Caesar died, uh, Anthony, Mark Anthony, that was a big love story, real love story yes. between Cleopatra VII and uh, Mark Anthony. Uh, so she uh, uh, suggested to Mark Anthony to replace uh, roles that was in fire uh, in her uh, Alexandria library. And this is a great contribution to uh, culture. Absolutely. So she 
Of course, we know Cleopatra as uh, also because her love for Antony, and uh, we also <laughs> remember Antony for her extreme love for Cleopatra, but especially Cleopatra was a strong cultural promoter. And I, I just mentioned uh, this um, fact that she uh, told to Antony to replace roles that was in fire during the war mm -hmm. with uh, Julius Caesar, and he, and he made that. So, uh, as we spoke, um, we like to do a short film. Yeah. About Cleopatra in San Francisco. Uh, sounds crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it it is completely crazy, uh, yes, and so very creative, so very uh, free. I'm for excited. Freedom, okay? Mm -hmm. In the Trans American Skyscraper of San Francisco, that is one of the symbols of San Francisco, with of course the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, why? Uh, to, I like to be suspended in a balcony on the skyscraper, the Pyramid of San Francisco, and that is uh, similar to the Pyramid, as I said the last time, at the time of Cleopatra, because the Pyramid at the time of Cleopatra, that was 30 years before Jesus Christ was born, was different from the pharaonic period. Yeah. So the pyramid at the time of Cleopatra was like <laughs> San Francisco's Trans-American building. So very like this. In pharaonic time, of course, we know that the pyramid was less. And uh, uh, maybe also at the time of Cleopatra, you have a book with ancient prints, uh, uh, they was white, the pyramid, at the time of Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. Also white, in fact, in Rome. There is a pyramid of Cestia that was built at the time of Cleopatra. It's white as San Francisco. <laughs> and I like that you can, uh, can film that. Yeah, I think it's exciting. Um, it's a, an exciting idea, a very exciting idea. Um, bringing, like I said, trying to, to delve into the culture of the Arab world that is not uh, one of violence and so-called terrorism and you know all the negative things. Exactly. But, but more about seeing the Arab world, it's, that's really what it is. That's what it calls itself. Means I live in Egypt too, and uh, the people love me, and me, I love the people. They are also so sweet. I was born in Italy, so Italy is very close to Egypt, and so <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend that is Gamal Nkrumah, the son of the hero of Ghana, who gives independence to Ghana, the father. And Gamal Nkrumah, that he lives in Cairo, uh, all the time uh, says, uh, Africa start from Rome. And me, I agree completely, because it's uh, a Mediterranean culture, mm -hmm. you know, the Mediterranean Sea, where Spain is, where even France, of course, is a South France, Marseille, we spoke about your friend uh, from Marseille, etc. And Italy, Greece, of course, and then uh, uh, Lebanon, Egypt, Libya, Tunis, Tunisia, Syria, Morocco, Morocco. etc. And so we are so linked about, apart the history, Antony and Cleopatra, so Rome, Egypt, Greece, etc., etc., Lebanon, Lebanon. And France. And France. And, and France. all those, and so, all uh, those countries as well. You know, well, we are, uh, means, uh, very similar. Yeah. Very similar, so, means, in the world, means in the human being, there is violence and not violence. So yes. we like to improve ourselves. So in any, so our goal, I think, is to improve ourselves, uh, uh, 
to um, to promote in ourselves harmony, peace, yes. uh, and uh, as I said last time, happiness. So the Arab world means I know Jordan too. I know Tunis, Tunisia too. I, of course, I know very well Egypt, and I love Egypt. All the people know that, etc. Why? Because, because is there are some feeling, uh, you know, when I I go to Cairo, everybody say hello to uh, to other people in the street, as in California too, as in San Francisco too. I, I, I know that in San Francisco there is this kind of warm communication too. Uh, so this is nice and uh, so other kind of maybe wrong, no maybe, maybe sure, wrong informations uh, and this is not, uh, yeah. is a falsification of some culture, etc. Of yeah. course we know that in any culture there are bad people, good people, etc., etc., but not only bad people, but very good people. So it's not the uh, level of some culture to be, as you said, uh, no, uh, is also there is a so great uh, open heart yes. in Arab world. So when I met in San Francisco, New York City, some uh, people that came from <laughs> our world, I, I say, Assalamu alaikum. And they smiled, of course, because uh, um, is uh, like uh, means uh, communication. And uh, so, yes, this is my small comment uh, about what you said, of course. Oh, well, that was a big comment. I wonder uh, if... Uh, our show is going by so fast. Oh my God! We only have uh, four minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the live show. We take uh, phone calls over here, and um, nice. But uh, the phones um, aren't working still. But uh, perhaps you'd like to do that uh, next time you come on. Absolutely. And um, we could see uh, who's really watching and who's who's. Uh, uh, a scholar of uh, Egyptian history or yes, art, it would be a, a very good idea to, to speak uh, with our friend that uh, uh, are yeah. seeing us uh, now or next time. Yes, sure. Yeah, and I, I feel that uh, you're such an international person. I love the world as you love the world. So I do, with but this I don't reason we have a, <laughs> No, no, no. No, no, you you uh, you are means, I want to go. And uh, yeah, sure, no problem. And uh, so uh, for this reason this is a fantastic good, good connection between uh, me and you. And also I saw your videos uh, oh <laughs> came down the iPad. <laughs> so, communication and so means uh, uh, I saw your videos uh, as a great artist and actress thank you thank and you. singer and uh, filmmaker so maybe uh, next time maybe I, I, of course we I will like to do something with you I I'm very much excited about it oh, very kind from you <laughs> no I am yes I am because I, I, I have I have a, a script in mind and we didn't really talk about it but I would rather work on this project first and develop mine so I can really have the script and everything ready but oh, yeah great. I have I already have an idea and actors from City College that I know to be in it and everything oh fantastic fantastic yeah. So action, as Fellini, uh, you know, my uh, beloved word is action because my mentor Fellini is the action, 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 filming action. So welcome action, good action for creativity and art. Ah, so well so. said. Um, and you were just recently in the Hollywood area, right? Uh, yes. For the Fellini. Uh, for Fellini celebrations, that of course will be in the, all the planet, included uh, Cairo, uh, Alexandria, 
Amman, Tunis, uh, and uh, all the world. And also I was uh, in Hollywood to finish a, a short movie about um, the legendary Frank Sinatra. I was uh, uh, connected with him. And uh, so anyway, it's a um, funny story as uh, global stars put the world together because Frank Sinatra was an Italian-American and Fellini was from Italy, but uh, uh, Marlene Dietrich introduced me to Frank Sinatra and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So the, the global star, our global star, but to put uh, the world together.